time to say goodbye to Vladivostok and move to the second largest city in Russian Far East. The weather gets really moody in Vladivostok nowadays. I even bought an umbrella and that umbrella fallen apart. Technically this one is my second umbrella, which I got for free. Quite surprised by such Russian service. <laughs> price here is a little bit higher than an average Russian canteen, but not extremely high. What we have here is potato with fried mushrooms, some steamed vegetables, and Russian kind of meat, um, meatballs. Altogether, this plate of food cost me 350 rubles, or about 5 US dollars. I know why they call this place don't fry. Once somebody comes here, takes the food and sees how much it costs, it is the first instant just start crying, cause actually this place costs more than average Russian canteen. The food itself, I can actually feel it fresh despite the fact that it's very late evening. The meatballs, very nice combination of meat and rice, it's traditional Russian style of making it. Delicious. The potato, these fried mushrooms, really nice. It's a very solid place in Vladivostok to have some quick food and try Russian style canteen, especially with such kind of indoor style. Russian sesame crackers for 40 rubles. Love that. Only half a dollar and it tastes really delicious. Going to the train station now and I don't have a train ticket yet. I'll buy it and uh, usually people buy it online. It's simpler, easier and that's the way I'll do that. But if you will be traveling in Russia perhaps you'll go old style way getting a train ticket from the station itself. It means this window doesn't work. <laughs> Plus card. Plus card. Yes, yes, боковое нижнее. Карточкой. Спасибо вам большое. Приятного вам вечера.
here we go. The train behind me, uh, over there, is mine. And honestly, it looks so new. I think last time, about two years ago, I was taking a train and it was kind of old. And this one looks very, very different and so nice. I think I'm the first one in the car. No, oh, no, nope. the second and the third, somebody is over there. But no one in my area. We are in Khabarovsk, 
everyone who is leaving the train Khabarovsk is already outside but I technically cannot be late because we are staying the train is staying at this station for 70 minutes <laughs> impossible to be late <laughs> to stay for three days in this city. A host family from couch surfing. 10 minutes in the city and so far, look, so nice here. Right in front of the train station, here's an alley, kind of park. And I'm just walking straight about a kilometer to meet my host family. But I will not show you my host family and their home in this video. It will be for the next one. So far, if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. 